Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GiveMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to do some more fun with home automation. I'm going to take and show you how I have things set up in my automations, turning on lights and off lights various times. I'm going to take what I have, I'm going to blow it all away and we're going to set up some new stuff. So let's get started. All right, here we go. Here is my Hubitat. So first of all, I have several rooms set up. Let's just go look at um, the garage for a second. So I've got a temperature sensor and everything in there. And then if you go to like the living room, I've got a couple lights. And, um, you know, in the family room, we've got lights and lock and outlets and switches and things like that. So we're good. And, and we're going to take a look at some of these things. Let's look at the apps. So right now, so I've got Ecobee integrated in here, and I've got a button controller app. I've got Google Home connected, and then here are the dashboards, uh, notifications. I've been playing around with that rules engine and simple automation rules. So let's take a look at these. Begin. So if we take a look at the rules engine that I've added in here, this app. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let's look at Simple Automation Rules app. So Simple Automation Rules, what is it? You can create them right here. So I'm gonna go back here and let's just look at our turn on outdoor plug at sunset. So this rule is set up, here it is. And so we set up the plug here. I'm gonna actually end up deleting this rule and resetting it up in this video, okay? So let me just get this over here so I can take a look at it. So what this rule is, is during sunset, the sunrise. So basically, I have Christmas lights set up outside, an outdoor plug, a Z-Wave plug, and when it gets dark, it turns them on, and when it gets light, it turns them off. And that's as simply how this works. So now, let's just go down here and remove this all together. Boom. All right. So that way I can walk you through the process of setting up a simple automation rule. Like I said, first things first is you want to go up here to build an ad. You want to type in rule and simple automation rule right there. You can install that app. But what we're going to do here is you just go here, click on it, create new simple rule or remove simple rules. So we're going to create. Well, let's just see. We need to select what we want to do. And here is a list of all of our things I have in here. And this is the outdoor plug we want to choose. And then click Update. And now we want to do, well, what do we want to do with this? We need a trigger. Triggers, what can triggers be? Well, triggers can be a lot of different things. And one of the things that can be is like a open close sensor or a motion sensor or a time of day. So let me just pull that down and we'll take a look. What do we have? Open close, accelerometer, lock or unlock, arrival and departure, switch on or off, button push, temperature, humidity, specific time, mode changes, mode transitions. So there's lots of options for triggering stuff. So in this particular case, let's just say we want to do, you know, turn them on at sunset, turn them off at sunrise. So let's do a specific time and what to do, turn on. So you can change that to turn off, set temperature, to toggle. So we're going to do turn on and then at a time or sunset. So you can choose a specific time if you wanted to. So like maybe you get home from work at five o'clock and you want to turn on all the lights, you can set that up as a time. We're gonna do sunset. 
Now, that gives you additional options. You can do an offset. So maybe you want it to be 30 minutes after sunset or an hour after sunset or, or be an hour before sunset. So you can, you can add that number here. And then there's the off or sunset. So on time off. So let's go here and we're going to click sun rise. And then again, you get the option to do an offset before or after a little bit. And boom. So then you just hit done. All right, let's go back to that app list. And then what do we get? Turn on outdoor plug at sunset. If you click on that little gear, you get to look and see what it's all about right here. Now, maybe you want to edit that. You can click on it and add it. Um, you got the gear up here, which will take you to where we were before. And again, like I said, if you want to edit this, you can go and maybe you want to change your plug or something like that. You can also change how it's named. So if you flip this little button here, it'll give you an option to name it whatever you want. Um, I'm totally fine with the current naming of it. You can enable logging or enable app events and things like that. So that's how simple it is to do the turning something on and off based on sunrise sunset. Now you could have chose, you know, sunset, turn something off anyway. So let's go ahead and look at my Christmas rule. So this guy is a much more complicated one. Well, not really. <laughs> so what we have is a automate the light switch. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to turn on the Christmas lights during the day and basically turn them off at night after we have went to bed. 6 a.m., turn on, and 9, 10 p.m., turn off. So this is just like the rule we looked at. And instead of picking sunset, sunset, we chose a time. And so that's the different. And also you'll notice that I changed the name of it. In this one, you see that there's a basement plug, a Christmas plug, a family plug, and a Tamsin plug. So those are just different lights. So on the first one, you notice we just picked one, that outdoor plug. And in this one, we have a whole bunch of them we're turning on. So if I have several Christmas trees, several lights all over the house, so you don't have to just do one individual plug. You can do as many as you want in here to flip on and off. And so that is that rule. So that is pretty cool, right? So that, that's if you want to do simple automations. All right. So that's how to use a simple rule engine. And if you need more complicated stuff, there's the, the regular rule machine that can do a lot more complicated stuff. So we'll check that out next time. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com.